All right, it's Belle Isle. Um, I've hit the wall a bunch trying to record this. Um, it is very difficult to talk and drive at the same time. And when there's walls right next to the track, there are big consequences for little mistakes. So, this has been a struggle so far. So, I will try to get a couple decent laps in. Might, might be focusing more than usual. Um less talking and more brain power into the uh, into the driving um, but I am uh, I will post the setup that I'm using currently uh, it's more or less my Sonoma setup from this season, I think. Whenever we, yeah, we went to Sonoma this season uh, with different gearing. Breaking just after the start finish there. Trying to stay right to open up the en exit onto the straight. Breaking well before the boards here. Second gear through this entire sector. Focusing on trying to get a good exit onto this straight. Only getting up the fourth gear. Breaking well before the boards in this corner as well. Not taking as much curb as I just did there. Sector two time is okay. Lifting, getting the car turned, back on the throttle, flat through here. Try to put in a good lap here. Really got to commit to that corner to go fast, because you will slide towards the wall. Didn't get the exit I wanted onto the straight, but it was decent. Too much curb there again. Be a good lap, but not good enough. Point seven one five. I think that's about just just about a tenth off of uh, what Noel did a few minutes ago. So uh, take a look at the a look at that lap real quick. Um. So, braking just after the start-finish, 
getting into third gear here trying to stay to the right to open up the entry to the left hander and then keeping it tight through here I want to try to get rotated already so that way I'm straight straight lining as much as I can because this bump right here will slide you out to the right just like that so the car slides towards the wall then up into this braking zone um, this is the interestingly the corner that gives me the most problems um, you're braking kind of where a 500 board would be or at least that's where I'm at um, I'm kind of going off of uh, these two trees here are helping me gauge where I'm braking um, but if you carry too much speed you will just at least with my setup the car doesn't doesn't want to spin it doesn't want to understeer it just wants to slide um, and so it just wants to slide into this wall so especially if you realize that you're carrying too much speed early it's much better to just take the uh, take the little bit of runoff except that you're gonna lose 20 seconds turning around and getting back on track but it's better than breaking your car uh, I'm trying to I'm not breaking super hard here I'm just scrubbing some speed um, and then back on the throttle trying to carry speed through this corner I want to be careful not to take too much of this curb because it wants to upset the car and push you into this left wall like there I took I took a little bit too much you see the car just bouncing all over the place still in second uh, kind of want to turn in a little later here than I am um, so that way you have a straighter line on exit because this wall on the right kind of closes in on you see like right here I'm not full throttle yet um, because I can't I'm gonna understeer into this wall and then here I'm looking kind of at the end of these signs for a break point trying to get as far left as I can um, and the the road you're going uphill right here and then it flattens a bit um, so it it's very easy because of that uh, because of how it flattens to not get turned enough the car wants to keep pushing straight uh, so you almost want to turn in earlier than you think you will uh, every time I hit this corner perfectly and I'm like half a tires width it feels like I'm gonna hit the inside wall um, and then the car just makes it through uh, but then the tighter you can keep it then the more speed you can carry because you have more space on exit uh, which is pretty crucial with such a long straight not to get uh, not to get past or to give yourself a chance to pass into this corner again well before the boards there's not really much in the way of breaking points over here I guess maybe this post uh, you just kinda need to get a feel for it into second I took way too much of this curb that cost me uh, a a bit of time here um, I think last time we were here there were some people that were taking the curb a lot of the curb and it was working for them but uh, it really unsettles the car so need to be careful not to uh, carry too much speed and if you hit the curb then there's no way you're stopping yourself from hitting the left wall looking for um, really I'm focusing on braking early here because uh, you're not gaining much by carrying more speed into here uh, going into first gear for this corner I'm just trying to brake early and now I'm all the way off the brakes already just looking to carry speed on the, on the exit up into second then into first gear here just trying to stay left to open up the uh, entry 
to this corner. It's one of the tightest on the track. Braking just before the 300 into second and then off the brakes before the apex. Just trying to carry speed here. Get fully on the throttle for just a second and then a lift trying to get the car turned in. Back on the throttle. And that's a lap.